Hello everyone, welcome to Byron Now, the ultimate Bayern Munich fan channel. Daniel Peretz, our new Israeli goalkeeper, is coming home, baby! Didn't think a Jewish man would be making Germany home, but we move, we move. And honestly, the comments from the last video, which by the way took off quicker than Elon's rockets, was crazy. Everyone's talking about how good this guy is, and I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited. Apparently, according to the sources, it's actually happening. Daniel Parrott is on the verge of joining FC Bayern. Only one small detail remaining to reach a full agreement. Deal expected to be finalized in the next few hours. We're talking hours. This was posted two hours ago. So any minute now, we're getting that here we go from Fabrizio Romano. It is time. Daniel Parrott, the man from Tel Aviv, has joined the Bayern. He's looking for five-year contract. Trying to be back up for Manuel Noya. Hey, yo, Fabrizio, send that message. So, I'm not going to lie. Didn't know who Daniel Parrott was before two weeks ago. <laughs> when we started getting linked to him. And I'm kind of excited because the comments are telling me this man took Israel, their under-21s, to the World Cup final or some final, saving like five penalties. Apparently, there's, there's a highlight reel where... For the first two minutes, is just him saving penalties. So, it looks like penalties is a strong suit of his. But I gotta say, before I talk more about Daniel Peretz, like, what's wrong with these comments, man? Not just on my channel, but everywhere I, I look, it's crazy. Oh, free Palestine. Don't sign him because he's from Israel. What does that got to do with football? Daniel Peretz joining Bayern does not change the fact that the world is the way it is. I don't care about politics. This ain't Ben Shapiro's channel. This ain't Fox News comments. This ain't CNN. <laughs> Why are we talking about this man's nationality more than his ability? We should care more about his ability than where he's from. I personally love Israel. I don't know. I got, I got a few Jewish friends here and there. Great bankers. But like, like chat, let me move on. Let me move on. <laughs> let me move on. Because I, I, I joke about everybody. You know, black people, I make jokes. Remember when there was fog on the cameras in our game against Werder Bremen and we couldn't see anyone and I was making jokes about the fact that I couldn't see the only black players in the team? I joke about these things, but damn, like some of y'all take it too, too far. You're not even joking. You're just like being full on hateful against this man for just being Jewish. Or, sorry, not Jewish. Israeli. And that's weird. That's weird. I'll chat, man. I'll people in the chat. I get it. If you care about the issue, care enough. You know, care somewhere else. Not on my channel. Not on this channel. This channel is not a political channel. It's not a geopolitical channel. It is a freaking football channel. Or if you're in America, soccer. It's a, it's a football channel. We sit here and we talk about the most insignificant thing in the grand scheme of life, and that's the sport of football. In all our lives, we have things more important than, than football, but we all find this interest and we talk about it. So let's talk about Daniel Parrott when it comes to his ability and less on his nationality. And it's not my problem, all right? Don't ask me questions. I don't want to see no free palace. I'm going to delete these comments, bro. Shut up. Anyways, let me move on, bro. Let me gas up my goalkeeper because the chat... They really gassed me up. I'm excited. I'm buying these stocks as we speak. I'm telling you guys, in three years, we could be talking about, whoa, what a steal from Bayern to pay $7 million for this guy, Daniel Peretz, who's now one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Or we could be like, yo, what a waste of money, man. Tel Aviv scammed us. I don't know. It depends. Also, Manuel Neuer could be coming back. But guys, let's just face it. I mean, Neuer's finished. Neuer... So there was a source saying he wouldn't be back until 2024, that he could barely move, couldn't even kick a ball. And today I saw, I saw him in goalkeeping training, and they're saying he's going to make his return in mid-September, which is great, or mid-October, who knows. But it's going to be after the international break, the first international break. And look, let's be real with Neuer. Even before his injury, he was iffy. This man is 37 years old. He could probably go for another season or two. But 
I don't know, man. I don't know if we should just fully trust Neuer forever. <laughs> no. I think we need to start thinking about the future. And if Daniel Parrott is that, then yeah, sure. That'd be great. Also, I don't think he's a backup for Ulrich. I think this man is here to really become our number one one day. Because why would the club pay $7 million for a backup when we could have just kept Jan Sommer? Yeah, I think the goal is let's see if we can get a goalkeeper on the cheap who becomes world class. And from what I'm seeing, Daniel Peretz has very good hands. Also, his passing, like his long passing, is pretty good from a few clips. Now, when you watch highlights, they're not going to show you that one time he spilled the ball and it went to the striker and they scored on him. Highlights are going to show you the best things. You know, it's like women. When you see a girl at a date, you ain't seeing her in her worst state. You're probably seeing her in her best state at a party. You know, she got all the makeup on. Mmm. She is freaking painted up like Da Vinci. You're not going to see that. Damn, she got these stretch marks. Yeah. You're going to see the best version of her. So highlights are always showing you the best version of the player. So I don't think we should use highlights to judge players. But. If all these Israelis are telling me, yo, he's cold, then I kind of got to believe him. You know, like Serbian weather, man. I believe you. Or Siberian weather. Sorry, Serbia is the country. Siberia is the other cold place. Yeah, man, I got to believe him. So I'm thinking he's going to start over Urek as soon as he joins us because I think anything is better than Urek. I think everyone watching this right now is better than Sven Urek. So... That's a fact. <laughs> Ulrich, my man's out here getting nutmeg, man. Balls between his legs like Logan Paul's wife. It's crazy. So, I think he's going to be a starter immediately. And then, if Neuer returns, then Neuer... I don't know. I mean, he'll probably, as captain of this club, because Neuer's still our captain. You guys got to remember that. And I think that's an underrated fact. Neuer was a great captain. Now, when we watch games, we just think, ah, oh, Neuer's just screaming. But no, there's more to leadership than just what Kimmich does, which is scream and do all these things. So, I think Neuer has been a great captain for us since Philip Lahm left. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad that he's declining because I love Neuer. See, you know, I always say Robin is why I'm a Bayern fan, but players like Neuer at the 2014 World Cup, those are culture-changing moments. Neuer changed goalkeeping forever. When you watch Neuer, you're just... You're curious. Who does he play for? Oh, great. <laughs> now you're a Neuer fan. I've been a fan for Manu, uh, of Manuel Neuer for years. This man made goalkeeping fun. Goalkeeping was just shot-saving. But I don't want anyone to forget Manuel Neuer's legacy at this club. This man is the greatest goalkeeper... In football history. And if you don't think that because he went skiing with some two-year-old girl because he's a freaking pedo, I'm chilling. Chill. It was, she was 19 or 20. But pretty young for a 37-year-old man. When is he getting married? Damn. <laughs> you got no kids too? Whew, this man is really living that life. Freaking hippie. But he's the GOAT. I don't care about Buffon. I mean, great people, great players. Casillas, great accomplishments. But Neuer is probably the only goalkeeper in history that should have won the Ballon d'Or in 2014. I don't know. Don't bring up some black and white picture of who's that dude that's always getting talked about as the GOAT. Uh, Levy Ashen. Oh, look. He did the thing. Bro, I don't care about Levy Ashen. Bro, we're in 2023. No one in here watched Levy Ashen play. Why are you talking about him like you watched him? But you watch Neuer play. And you watch Neuer Reinvent the game. You watch goalkeepers take after Neuer. Neuer set a standard for goalkeeping. I always forgot just how much we valued him only after we lost him for six months. This man's shot stopping is better than any goalkeeper in history. The saves, I still remember the save he made against Ronaldo. That man put his, uh, he's crazy. I don't think a goalkeeper has better individual performances, like the amount of individual performances, than Neuer. I just just think about the World Cup. Think about think about the, the performance against Algeria, Germany versus Algeria. Think about the 
Neuer literally made goalkeep goalkeepers fun. We used to all hate goalkeepers. If you know you have a goalkeeper, you hate him when they concede. But Neuer, bro, this, this guy, I don't care what anyone says. He's the most complete goalkeeper in the history of this game. And I don't want anyone to forget that just because he decided to go skiing. So, but I am still angry at Neuer because I think he did play a part in ruining our season. I mean, his teammates won't, weren't full of confidence when, you know, they saw Jan Sommer in goal. Freaking Kevin Hart's height versus Neuer's 6'4", big dude. And also just the experience Neuer had. How many games has Neuer kept this in? This man won at World Cup. Ah, oh, jeez. Whatever. But I'm looking forward to Daniel Peretz, and I think he could be our number one one day based on uh, the qualities I think he has. I mean, I read a comment that this guy takes penalty preparations extra serious. Like he's, I mean, most goalkeepers do what he does, but I think he does it deeper. Like he's really analyzing penalties, like, you know, how coaches would analyze a game for outfield, outfield players. I think there's an art to goalkeeping people forget. Like, goalkeepers have tactics as well. Oh, if I get a penalty and who's taking it, they go through before a game the list of anyone that could take a penalty. And you're just kind of waiting for your moment to shine. So, yeah, man, Daniel Parrott would be amazing, and I hope we get him. I hope we do. And, well, I mean, it's already basically a certainty, I think. And I think... What Daniel Parrott brings to Bayern is youth in a position we just haven't had to worry about for so many years. When was the last time we had to think about a goalkeeper? Nah, even Neuer at 35, we just all knew he's coming back and he's, he's still the GOAT. But the world is moving on. Neuer is getting older. You got to start thinking about the future. There aren't very, that many available goalkeepers out there. For, you know, the kind of money we're paying for Parrots. You got $7 million, That's great. And then you got $75 million for Diego Costa. So that's a lot of money. And I don't think Byron were willing to take a risk like that. Especially in a position I feel you can get a lot of cheap options. And see, your goalkeeper doesn't have to be spectacular every game. They just have to keep you in a game when they can. Some shots they just can't save can't do anything about it, great finish. Uh, but your goalkeeper should ideally be good enough to keep you in games and get you over the line in moments of difficulty. So, yeah, I'm excited for Daniel Peretz. If you're watching this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And, yeah, uh, sorry I went off with the rant I did, but I'm just tired, man. I, I, I'm just trying to make content on Byron. Um, I mean, yeah, we make jokes on this channel, but please don't make it political every time we sign any player uh, you didn't see anyone complaining when we signed freaking Kane you know oh look Germany f or England invaded Ger like no one cares bro like just keep y your political stuff out out of the the channel let me do the political jokes man I'm good at that <laughs> let me do the racist jokes <laughs> but yeah thank you ever so much for watching Mia send me an M peace